What up, YouTube? It's your boy RDS, and let's go. All right, I'm about to take this back to my boy Corey fucking Haim. You know, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, the two Corys. We all about the same age, you know what I'm saying? And, well, not too much Corey Haim anymore because he passed away a few years ago. And that kind of shook me up because I followed these two, you know, since I was a kid. And I grew up with them, you know what I'm saying? You know how you grow up with people in TV and you just feel like you a part of their family? That's how I felt with Corey Haim. You know, big, like, huge, huge, huge fan. And the boy was, you know, he was talented. Unfortunately, a lot of shit happened to him, you know, in the uh, movie business in Hollywood. A lot of shit that Corey Feldman still talks about to this day. And then a lot of, uh, they tried to actually counsel Corey Feldman in Hollywood because how he spoke up against the, the sexual shit that was going on in the hands of a lot of those producers and directors and shit. Even though, and it's still going on today. And but with Corey Haim, you know, he got into that drug life and eventually he ended up taking him out, you know what I'm saying? But this is one of my favorite scenes of one of the greatest kid movies of all time, Lucas. And this is the ending, the very ending. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I cried a few times, tears rolling down my eyes. I mean, it ain't gonna happen now because I know, you know what's gonna happen. But and one and it's another and it's a girl on here that I've been in love with since I was a kid. Now she's on Stranger Things as the mom, Renona Ryder. And I remember her in Heather's. That's one of my favorite throwback movies as well. If y'all never seen Heather's, make sure y'all check it out. She starred up in that. But we finna jump on this, y'all. This the ending of Lucas. If y'all have not seen this. Make sure y'all stay watching this because after this, I guarantee y'all gonna wanna watch the movie if you've never seen the movie. All right, let's do this, y'all. And by the way, I ain't gonna give too much away, but it's a reason why he wears that hat and, you know, the way he dress. It's a reason for all that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta check the movie out. But this is gonna give you a little glimpse on what's going on in this movie, what took place in this movie, just by this ending scene, for real. I ain't gonna do no pause, I'm just gonna let it play out, y'all. It's only two minutes and eight seconds long. Here he is. Y'all recognize him? Y'all recognize the guy in the middle? I'm gonna let y'all... Well, I ain't gonna... He played on a, uh, a really good show called Entourage. I ain't gonna give away on who that person is, but if you don't know, his name starts with a J and N with a P. But that's him. And the guy on the right, he played in a lot of movies too, but what I remember him in the most is Revenge of the Nerds. And the other guy on the uh, left, I don't know who that is. For real, I don't know who that guy is at all. I think this is one of his first movies, and I, I apologize, I don't know. But I do not know that guy at all. But the one in the center, he's very, very famous everyone knows who this man is but like i said it starts with a p i mean it starts with a j and ends with a p there go my girl she was so young Another one of my crushes right there. I cannot 
I do not remember her fucking name. I'm pissed off about that. I used to have a crush on her too as a kid. I had a crush on a lot of people. I had a crush on Winnie. For one of the years, that was my number one crush. Winnie, like number one. Winona Ryder was my number two. But she was uh, one of those girls from back in the 80s too. And Charlie Sheen, you already know, he was just everyone like that dude. He was so damn young. I still want a jacket like that. I'm going to get one eventually. I know y'all feel the same way. Lucas was just a very emotional movie. It was very emotional, very sad. It had its uh, fun moments, but not a lot. It wasn't a lot of uh, good time, like good moments in that movie. It was mostly a lot of sad moments. And that football scene what he was able to do because he wasn't a big guy at all he wasn't like as far as weight he was not a big guy he had i don't know he looked like he had to wait about what 100 and a buck oh five buck ten somewhere around there he was not a big guy i don't even talk about height i'm just talking about weight you can be big and still short but he wasn't neither he was really really like frail skinny as fuck y'all but what he was able to do how he sacrificed himself, how he did what he did to prove that he's part of that team. He's part of that, you know, that normal life. And this teaches a lot of people, too, also about, um, I hate to say it, because a lot of people lost their life to this because they couldn't deal with getting picked on, getting bullied and stuff like that. And this movie is basically about that. So like I said, if you've never seen it, check it out, y'all, for real. Check it out. It's called Lucas and your boy Corey Hine. Great actor. Great fucking actor. Now, of course, everyone knows him from The Lost Boys and License to Drive. Another great, two great movies, actually. And he was damn good in all of them. God, man, if that dude would have got on drugs, where he'd be at right now. Because he was actually a little bit big. He was a, probably a bigger star than Corey Feldman. Even though Corey Feldman was in a lot of shit, you know, Corey Feldman is uh, the guy from the, the boy from the Goonies, from the Birds, from Bur Burbs with uh, Tom Hanks. And he played in a lot of other fucking movies too. But uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite scenes, y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed that. And as always, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, click that bell for the notifications. Help your boy out, help me get up there, y'all. Get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all can do this. Just click. Just click it. Click it to ticket. Or ticket to click it. Whatever way it goes, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm out of here, y'all. Until next time, peace, love, and...